John Whiskey Lake. Okay. Thank you. Time is uh, just coming up to a quarter past six. Uh, Gavin here with uh, a lot of sport. Yes, absolutely. Yes, we've been hearing about Roy Hodgson possibly becoming the next England manager, but there's mixed reaction to the news. Former England international Stan Collymore would be happy-ish if Hodgson got the job, believing money to be the factor behind the FA's move. And Everton captain Phil Neville tweeted his surprise that there being only one name on the shortlist. So with Harry Redknapp now apparently out of the England running, can his Spurs side qualify for the Champions League? He believes it'll go down to the wire after a 2-0 win over Blackburn, topped off by Kyle Walker's wonder goal. That moved them up to fourth. They're now four points behind Arsenal with a game in hand. Robers remain in the relegation zone. Fernando Torres has promised there's more to come from him after hitting his first hat-trick for Chelsea in their 6-1 demolition of QPR. Even boss Roberto Di Matteo admitted he didn't see the results coming. Captain John Terry, who apologised for his Champions League red card last week, was among the scorers, but it was Torres' treble that heats more trouble on relegation-threatened Rangers. So it's been a remarkable weekend in the Premier League, but there's no question they've saved the best till last as leaders Manchester United take on Manchester City at the Etihad. Sir Alex Ferguson believes it's the biggest derby ever staged. Mind games are most certainly playing a part, with both managers installing their opponents as favourites. City will go top on goal difference with a win. In Scotland, Celtic boss Neil Lennon considered uh, their 3-0 win over Rangers as one of the easiest in recent years. The newly crowned champions made light work of their troubled rivals, with Lennon admitting he wouldn't like to be in counterpart Ali McCoist's shoes, with their future still far from certain. Claycourt King Rafa Nadal continues to break records on the surface after winning the Barcelona Open. Victory over compatriot David Ferrer saw him claim his seventh title at the tournament. It comes a week after an eighth successive win in Monaco. He's the first man in the Open era to claim two titles at least seven times. A brilliant individual performance from Bradley Wiggins, who overcame mechanical trouble and still claimed the final stage to win the Tour de, de Romandie title in Switzerland. His success is the first time a Briton has won the race, and his British team Sky also won the team event. Finally, we've got Justin Bieber on the show later. You know, he showed me a thing or two about how to play football. I set him a challenge of trying to beat my keepy uppy record of 21. Take a look at this. <laughs> See if I can beat 21. I'm going to try to beat 21 first time, all right? I'm going to try to keep it up. All right, guys, 21, here I go. That's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Being it, being it, already first time being it. Fair play, congrats. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's I mean, first well go. Well done. Was it 23? Yeah, he got 23, yeah. He did say to me, I'm very competitive. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Before he even took that on, he said, yeah, I'm going to try and beat it straight away. First time, 23. Does he play much football? You know, he's trained with Chelsea and Barcelona. Oh, that explains a lot of it. Lionel Messi and Torres showing a few tips, I think. <laughs> but he's on the show a bit later, chatting about yep. all sorts of other things. But that yep. was good, Gavin. Thrashed <laughs> by the Bieber. I know. <laughs> Hands up. <laughs>